Welcome back everyone to the shop. I am the Spirited Maker and today we are going to try something different. We're going to make an air engine. I don't know, I've made this probably three of wooden ones, kind of like Matthias Randell's versions, which is all cool. But I want to try something different and I want to make one out of PVC pipe and some wood. That's going to be the cylinder. But let's see if we can make an air engine out of PVC pipe. I think it'll be interesting. Let's see how it turns out. All right, really quickly, here's a diagram of how it should work in theory. Air comes in and it's directed by a slide valve to one side or the other of the cylinder chamber. And it, while it's letting air in one way, it's letting exhaust out one of the other two ways. So it should go back and forth, back and forth. The output will be connected to a flywheel and a camshaft to time it. But all this air cylinder stuff will be made out of PVC pipes. So I'm going to try and lay it out and then I'll bring you back and we'll discuss it. Here's the idea. Here's the layout. Remember, this is the plans. Oh. And I'm mimicking that with this series of pipes. Three T's. The imports will be exhaust input. The slide here will determine whether the air goes one side or the other. The cylinder. All right, this will be the cylinder for the air engine. It's a piece of one inch dowel stock that I cut down a little sandy. It fits perfectly in this one inch pipe. I'm gonna try the one inch. If I have to, I'll get a bigger PVC pipe for the cylinder. But let's start with the one inch, since that's what I have. Uh, this will be the rod that goes through it. I'll have to drill on the ends. Same up here with the slide, air slide. Hopefully, it'll work just fine. I hope I don't blow it. Get it, air engine joke. I'm going to show you how I'm a accurately get the center on these PVC pieces. I got a quarter inch end mill here in a tail stock on my mini lathe and we'll just use it to accurately create a hole through this curved piece which would be difficult otherwise. So. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm sure there are other ways, other methods. Um, but this is the easiest and most accurate way for me. So here we go. Doesn't have to be fast, it's PVC. A little bit slow, that would make it more accurate. Those chips. This old Tony would be proud. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Back it off. Let's uh, remove it and look at the. Results. There we go. A hole perfectly aligned with the center of PVC pipe. I'm going to do that for the other pieces that need a hole. And then we'll get back to assembling it. New setup, new venue. I'm over here on my desk that's closest to the AC because it is brutal hot down here. So, some little few changes I've made. I went ahead and 
got an inch and a half pipe and turned down a new cylinder on it. Fits really nicely. Perfectly fits. So it'll be a bigger cylinder and step closer. Now I've got to make the slide, the air slide that controls it, and then we've got to make the uh, flywheel and cam. That'll be the last step. As a quick reference, this is the air engine I made kind of based on the Matthias' plans. Pretty similar. I'm going to run it. I think I made this one four or five years ago. It's going to get loud because I use a vacuum to uh, power it. So here we go. And so that's actually the second air engine that I made. So this new one, based on my own design with PVC, should be interesting to see how it goes. Hope it doesn't blow up in my face. Get it? Air engine? Blow up? Never mind. Quick test time. I've got the slide installed, the cylinder. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when I blow some air through. Here's position one. I think the slide's going to go that way. Oh, other way. The piston, I mean. Now if I move it to the next position, it goes the other way. Back to this position. So all it's going to do is go back and forth, back and forth, send in the cylinder back and forth, back and forth. All right, time for another quick update. I am going to make the flywheel cam setup using this old bike tire bearing assembly. And I cut out on the bandsaw two circles. One for each side, one will control the air slide, and one will control the cylinder. Really, the cylinder is going to be controlling, turning everything. So, just thought I'd show a quick update on the pieces I gathered together for this next part. All right, another quick update. I've just made a little pillow block, so to speak, out of the two by four and mounted mounted it. And that is how we are going to time the flywheel. We're just going to connect the rods with connecting rods to the points on the outside of the flywheels. The cylinder will be powering this one round and round while the air slide will be timed on this side, back and forth. So, and that's, I gotta mount this to a platform and mount the connecting rods on the air engine and we're pretty close to being ready for a test run, so. Let me see what I can find for a mounting platform and uh, get it mounted up and then we'll figure out how to time it. Before the air compressor kicks back on and it gets too loud to talk. So here's the air engine. We'll see it from this side and the other side. Nice and quiet. It works.
And there you have it, an air engine made out of PVC and some wood, a couple screws, a couple nails, but it works. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Couldn't get much simpler than that. Anyway, if you like this video, I hope you consider subscribing to this channel. I really do thank you for the time you've taken to watch this. And as always, God bless.